Hey, what's up? This is Big Lee with Hustler Spirit. I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky with Mr. Oscar Lee Davis. He did a lot of time in prison, some murders, some shooting. Five times. Five times. And he also did time with Fleece Johnson. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but go ahead and tell us about the, you know, what, what did you do the first time and, uh, how long did you do? I the first time I went to Ben Tenson, I did three years. I went a ten year sentence. Okay. Boy, they even tried to rob me. And I said, Hold on, man, you can't rob me. Eighteen at the eighteenth and between Broadway and and, and Wisconsin. It changed my way in Madison. Okay. After that, once I got to Benchester. What what did you do to get there? What I, what happened? I shot a guy. Okay. Killed him. No, I didn't kill him. You didn't kill him? No. Okay. But the next time I did shoot a guy and kill him. How old were you then? About eighteen. Okay. So it ain't come to that stupid ass shit. Okay? I, I didn't get to go through that. So my stepdaddy was a police with, with, with what, what's, that, what's that nigga's name? My stepdaddy was a, a detective, a Louisville detective. All right? He lived in Atlanta. He come from Atlanta all the way to Louisville to, from Indianapolis to Indianapolis to chain me down in the car. Okay? To say, hey, and you don't care. I said, man, and I was like, F you, man. I don't care about you or nobody else. But it was what it was. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I shot dude, because dude tried to rob me. See, back in the day, they used to have parking meters, okay? And we had pillowcases and shit. We take them pillowcases out there on the bus, going to break into parking meters. You hear me? Yeah. He ain't caring about me. He don't think he was, was my mama. And my mama didn't give a damn about me either because they, they, they dropped me off. They, uh... Abandoned me. Okay. So I said, okay, all right, that's fine. You know? So when I shot dude when he died, oh Lord, that was the end of that. You know? But anyway, after once after that, when I went to court, my stupid ass daddy. And my stupid ass mama said, so let me go to the army like I wanted to go. They didn't want me to go to the army. Okay. They want me to go to Finchens. Okay. I they was gonna give you a chance to go to the service out of the yeah. prison. But my mama and my daddy didn't want me to go eat that dad. Okay. One thing they want me to do, okay, was go penitentiary. So I went to penitentiary. Then I, be, once I got the fences, I became a goddamn fool. Now I know how to gamble. Now I know I'm, I know I do a whole lot of shit. Huh? But they ain't care. But I did. How much time did you do at 18 for that? Three. three. I did three years. On a 10 year? Yeah. On 10 years. So when I got out of penitentiary, Okay, then I became a real gangster because I ain't get what rats ass about nothing else. Now, I keep hearing these people talking about they rape little boy. You, you motherfucker, me, my partners, and none of them. They sent me from what's it called to Eddieville. Lagrange, did you go to Lagrange? To Eddieville, to Eddieville, to Eddieville. When I got down there. I got me two, I got me two pair of bobble scissors and, and 
the table to my hand. Y'all not fucking with me. What y'all gonna do is die. You know what I'm saying? When I got down there, I lost my mind. My little partner, my little partner lost his damn mind. It's okay, man. What we finna do? We finna kill once he's stupid, motherfucker. With this stupid ass shit. Okay? Uh, a couple months ago, my little partner, Waddell, got, they, they beat him to death because he was not, you know, he wasn't going for that. He was shorter than me, he was lower than me. You hear me? Yeah. All right, so now, what the problem was is here. The problem was, Every time we hit the penitentiary, they cut our time off. We didn't have, we had no time no more. It's cut off. So now y'all stuck in the penitentiary. So now everybody's stuck in the Y'all, yeah, they did something else wrong, and we do shit wrong. You know what I'm saying? All they had to do was bring us home and let us alone. But they wouldn't do that. Huh? Bring us home, leave us alone. That's all they had to do. Nah, they ain't do it. Put us back and sit us down in the street. So now what are we supposed to do? So when we get home, we get guns. You hear me? So you're about 21, 22 now, right? Yeah, I'm 21, 22 years old now we get guns. It's just so stupid. All right. So now they're saying, well, oh, they, 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 you know, we not. No, they, all you had to do was let us go to the army, both of us. He wouldn't do it. One thing you did now was make gangsters out of them. So when I hit the street again, now I'm not no joke. I come out of the pinch, this ain't no damn joke. You hear me? They keep on with that, keep on with it. Okay, I right, keep on with it. You know? Oh, they, uh, uh, they, they, uh, no, it's not that. Y'all wouldn't let us go do what we needed to do, so we couldn't do it. Okay? We could not do that. Only thing we could do was just survive. Okay? On survival shit, my boy said, man, y'all, y'all parents are, yeah, they damn sure so did, they abandoned us. Huh? So what could I do? All right, so when I get back to, oh, he's a, he's a gangster, he's a, man. no, no, that's not what happened. See what I'm saying? My mama, my daddy, didn't say, come on, baby. Come on home, we can do, they can do all that. This shit was so stupid, man. Okay, back in the 60s and the 70s, it was so stupid. But what could I do? I couldn't do nothing else. Huh? So what the fuck else could I do? I couldn't do nothing else because I ain't know nothing. I didn't know anything else. You hear me? Yeah. I ain't know no other way to go. I ain't know what was to do. You know, because my mom and my dad didn't abandon me. Okay? Now, it's, it's homosexual shit. Motherfucker, if you put your goddamn hands on me, I'd have murdered you. I'd set you home to your mom in a goddamn box. Okay, because I kept two pair of, 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 of razor scissors in my goddamn tape in my hand. He ain't gonna fuck with me. He don't let me to your dude. Leave me alone. Nobody tried you when you had that? Hell no, because they know I would I'd kill him dead. You know what I'm saying? I would kill him dead. I don't like men. I don't, it's just some girls I don't like. Some girls I can't have sex with. So what the fuck I'm having sex with a man for? And you are not giving me, if, if you do, bitch, your mama need a black dress, cause guess what? 
I'm going to put you in one. Yeah? And ain't nobody in the prison system can tell you that Oscar had no hem no homosexual activity with no man. You hear me? Yeah. That shit didn't happen. So hey man, you know. The killers didn't mix with the homosexuals. You know no, what you're saying? because I had some guys that was the, the, the boxers in the penitentiary, and then they said, like me, say, man, hold it, man. I was running a store for me. I used to run stores for the niggas that was bad as motherfuckers in the penitentiary. You know what? They say, oh, man, we ain't go through all that. Man, I used to say, look, this shit wrong to the champ. Bitch, if you not get me to pay the money, don't fuck with me. No, 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 i use the language that I use, right. okay? So what don't follow him with that? Shit. <laughs> oh, man, man. They say, man, oh, we fuck with that nigga right That nigga's crazy. He made a little Wardell, boy, me and Wardell coma. But they just killed him a few weeks ago because he went to Indiana and shot at the police and did 30 years in penitentiary. I did 20 years at Eddieville in the cage like a goddamn monkey. You hear me? He said, oh, man, no, we not, we not, we, we not doing him. We ain't fuck with him. If we slow fuck with him, he gonna kill one of us. You know? Me, Larry Watkins, which they call Donut, which Larry killed two motherfuckers in the penitentiary. This is so crazy. Yeah, Fleece, uh, that was the one Fleece said was dressed up like a woman when he was in there. He, I, I interviewed him. He was talking about Donut. He said Donut. Man, he Donut been out here saying shit because he's dead wrong. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, let me call him on the phone. Let me call him. Let me get him on the phone. That shit's not, that, that's not right. He killed two niggas in 15, 15 months. I said, what the fuck? You know? Because they was trying to do him and because he was little. Mm -hmm. We was little guys. Uh-uh. No. That shit didn't work. Hmm? So you get out, you get out at about 21, 22. Yeah. You, now you running them up. Pretty much out here in the streets. Yeah, because I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas because I've been in penitentiary. You know? Huh? You? So what happened with the 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 third guy you shot? What? How old were you when you did that? Well, the nigga did my mama. You don't fuck with my mama. I was over in 12th Street shooting crowds. Okay? Which is, that's what I li like to do. And they say, I know my mama pulled up and said, I was good. Yeah. I said, I don't know. Hell no. And I told a nigga a week before that, man, don't fuck with me, don't fuck with my family. Nobody in my family. He did it anyway. So I went on 7th Street and I said, hold it, man. I was a off shotgun. At the time, I was selling weed. I said, no, man, not today. Fuck you, I said, okay. Here's what you gonna do, you gonna die today, nigga. I'm, I ain't even thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You fucking with my mama, man. That's my mother. And you already know you live you live on the same street with me. Same street with me. So I shot the nigga, that's what I did. And he but, but here's the deal. The reason I shot him because he was six foot four. And we weighed 350 pounds. I was five, eight, and weighed nothing. He started backing up. I said, okay, all right. So I killed him because he was a bully. Then when I got to court, I said, oh, no, man, you, you got to go get to it because you're a murderer. Okay. 
Because that was the second person you killed, they, they called you a murderer? I killed the first one, then I killed the second one, then I killed the third one. Who was the third one? <laughs> yeah. And with Carl. And with Junior Carl, I killed him, right? Because he was, you did what? Man, I don't do no bully shit. You stop trying to bully me, I'm gonna kill you. He trying to bully you? Yeah. You can't bully me. You stop trying to bully me, your motherfucking ass is going to damn you. And your whole family, everybody. Kill me, or I'll kill you. This shit was so crazy, man. Oh. You shot him? Yeah. Because he was trying to bully me. What are you trying to, how are you trying to bully me? How much time did they give you for that one? 20 years. How much did you do of it? Two. Two years. So they put that 18 over your head, and anything you did after that, they was going to give you the rest of the anything time? Anything that I did after they gave me the rest of the time. So, man, guess what? I'm not proud of this shit. Let me tell you something. I only killed three people in this town. And I'm not proud of it. You? Yeah. I'm not. You know? But I had, I had, I felt like I had no choice. You know? Every time one of these fools try to do me, I uh, y'all made that up. I'm not going to do it. Y'all already know who I am and what I do. And the police told me, let me tell you what the police said to me. We don't want you, we don't want to catch you in no alley. We don't catch you, no, 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 we gonna know you, we're gonna have to kill you. If not, you're gonna kill us. I said, you're right. You're absolutely right, you're gonna kill us. And I didn't, hey, I wasn't trying to be no tough guy. I wasn't trying to be no, you hear me? Yeah. I wasn't trying to do that. But they had me in a position where I couldn't do nothing else. You hear me? Man, we are, uh, I said, oh, let me tell you something, man. No, not today. Not tomorrow, not no, we don't want to, I said, I know y'all don't, okay? But I wasn't trying to be in that damn alley. I wasn't trying to do none of that dumb shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what they, it was kind of like they made me do it. I know you don't have a lot of time, but what about the uh, last time you went to prison? What what happened? Oh, I went down to the Blues Club right there on 26th Street. And I'm standing there, and I got money. But I used to borrow my money up in my pocket. So, so this time... Dude said, hold it down, he come and stepped on my money. I had I, I had dropped some on the floor. He said, nah, you can't do this, you can't do that. And uh, you've been going with uh, my partner's woman. I said, what are you talking about? Because me and Joe, we went to school together. No, oh, no, that's just not what happened. Yes, it is, so like, I said, okay. So I come out of the club and walk down the street, and two niggas jumped on me and did my white outfit. I had a white outfit I had got from New York, okay? Because my brother got a transfer the truck, right? Mm -hmm. I had a white outfit. That I, next thing I know, I got blood on it. So my partner said to me, he said, man, don't, don't you go back to the house. He said, because you don't kill one of them. See, I didn't kill nobody, okay? I ain't killed nobody. I just shot the shit out of them. <laughs> I ain't killed nobody. Because they took my shit and did what they wanted to do with it. Huh? They took my shit. So when I got to the pro war, they said, what, what happened? I told them. And they said, oh, hell no. You hear me? How much time did they give you for that one? They gave me 50 years. How much time did you do? I did 20, but I was supposed to do 40. 
you I supposed to be forty years. No. We give you fifty years, you you won't do anything. They gave you fifty years at fifty years old? Yeah. At fifty years old. Wow. When I got to the pro world and explained to them what happened, they said, get your ass out of here, go home. Now, the reason they said that is because you, you, you're not going to make it in here in no 50 years, no 42 years. 50 years then was 85%. They said, no, man, no, get out of here. They said, why are you, I said, I don't know. You know, what could I do? They gave you 50 years and you didn't kill them? Ah, oh, they gave you because you, you had did so much, though. Right. Because 50 years and 50 years, though. That 50 years is a whole lot of time. 50 years, at, you know, 50 years old? I wouldn't have made it. And they know what they said. I don't know. No, get out of here. Go home. Because you ain't had no witness in there. You know? You know your your story is so extensive. Uh, I'm gonna interview you. Mind if I interview you again and okay. break everything down? It's fine with me. I'm gonna ask you one more question before we we get out of here today. What about Fleece Johnson? What about him? What What do you you did time with him down in uh, Eddieville, right? Yeah, he's a bitch. He's a whore. He's a goddamn woman that he thinks he is. Okay? That's what he is. You know, motherfucker, no nigga, no real nigga in the pinch is gonna do none of the shit he did. Excuse me, sir? Okay? He used to go out there and lay on the blanket like, what did he, uh, what did he used to call himself? Uh, uh, Was it Linda Dynamite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bitchy punk motherfucker. Get 